Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com with 2017 Fanatics Under Wraps Next Level Autograph Baseballs 3 box random player break number 15 from jazbeescasebreaks.com. Remember, one spot gets you four random players, so let's quadruple this list up. There's one, two, three, and four. And there's all the players right there, plus the all-game-used baseball spot and the all-legendary level spot right there. And then we'll randomize it, pop it into this list here, break 15, right? Yeah, break 15 on a Tuesday. Thanks for hanging with us, folks, on a Tuesday night. Let's roll the dice. Let's randomize each list five and a one, six times. One, two, three, four, five, and a one, six and final time. Justin Marshall, all the way down to Richard Johansson. And then five and a one, six times for the players. One, two, three, four, five, and a one, right? Yeah, five, one more time, sixth and final time. After six times, we got Schmitty, Mike Schmidt, all the way down to Yasiel Puig. All right, so per usual, I'm not going to read off all these names and players, but I'm just going to slowly scroll down the list. Just kind of show you what you have. You got Rolando Lewis. You have all the game-used baseballs. It'll say on the little card inside the Fanatics right there. All right, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to alphabetize by your first names by column A. So Brent, and Brent, you have all legendary level baseballs. They're all your players right there. Christopher Nance, they're your players right here. Justin Marshall picked up a ton of players. Got a lot of spots in this. Good luck. Good luck to everybody, of course. There you go. Richard got a lot of spots too. Nice. It's a great checklist. There's Rolando Lewis, and there's TJ. TJ's like, hey, Poppy and bets, I'll take it. Now, remember, this is the second half of the case. We marked these 15, so we know that they're from the they're from the same case. I don't think we have any more of this, but I'm sure I'm sure we'll dig up some more from Fanatics. I always love this stuff. I'll even share this with you. And he, no one's going to trade, right? People rarely trade in this stuff. But if you can't open this uh, spreadsheet on Google Sheets, whether you're on a mobile device or it's just difficult to do, let me know, and I can scroll down to your name, show you what players you have. We'll give it a few moments. Okay, Brent actually has a trade offer. Brent saying Boggs for Ripken Jr., There's Boggs right here. Who has? I don't know if Justin Marshall. Are you here? Does that do? Any, does that move do anything for you? Wow, Vlad Jr.'s homer. He hit his first home run today, folks. Four hundred thirty-eight feet. No, Justin wants to stay. What about George Brett? So this is Richard Johansson's players, Justin Marshall, if you want to move that George Brett. Make him an offer, Richard. No, Justin says George Brown, I'm good. He wants to stay with George Brett. All right. Well, let's close out the trade window then. Oh, no, you do want to trade. All right.
Looks like David Price for George Brett. All right, so let's get Richard out of the David Price spot. Let's get Justin out of the George Brett spot. Richard, you now have George Brett. And David Price for Justin Marshall. All right, so now let's close up the trade window. And let's see what we got, folks. We'll put T's next to those names to see who draws first blood in that trade, if any. It's only three baseballs. Wow, Chris Sale has 17 strikeouts. Is he still on the mound? No, it's in the 10th inning. He must be off by now. Oh, he had, se wow, seven innings and 17 strikeouts. Jeez. And the Red Sox bullpen want to spoil that effort. The game's tied 4-4 going into the 10th. I've got a little financial interest in the uh, in the Rockies. So we'll see what happens. All right. Who am I? I know who I am, but do you know who I am in here? John Samson, what's going on? He's saying Portland is uh, Trailblazers keeping it very bland right now and playing poorly. I think that may hold well for the second half. Are you suggesting a a second half wager, John Samson? All right, this is a debut level baseball. Who am I? I think the autograph is too easy. Yeah, I can't show you the autograph. It's too easy. Um. I am 69 years old from Dayton, Ohio. First ballot Hall of Famer with 96.5% of the vote. Played for one team my entire career. Lifetime 267 average, 2,234 hits, 548 home runs. It's a lot. Maybe the most for my position. 1,595 RBIs, so I play third base. 12-time All-Star, a World Series champion, a three-time NL MVP. I didn't realize he won that many MVPs. A World Series MVP, a 10-time Gold Glove Award winner, six-time Silver Slugger, eight-time NL Home Run leader. Really? I guess that's why you're first. I mean, I knew he was good. Who am I? Uh, not Johnny Bench, not Eddie Murray, not Brett. Yes, John Samuelson, Richard Johansson, and Jay's got it. Mike Schmidt. Which goes to Justin Marshall. Right here in break number 15. Schmidt. Oh, this is just a little advertising for them. There it is. Nice. See, everyone would have been able to figure it out by looking at that. He's got a nice auto. There's all the authentication stickers right there. And you can go to MLB.com slash authentication, type in those letters and numbers, and see uh, exactly when old Mike Schmidt decided to sign that. I didn't realize he won. he won three MVPs. 1980, 81, and then five years later in 86. Man. It's pretty good. Does he have the most home runs for a third baseman? At 548, I mean, that's a lot of home runs just in general. That must be the most for a third baseman. I can't think of anyone who has more. Boggs, maybe? 
No, Boggs didn't. Boggs, Boggs was more of a hitter, not a power guy. He only had 118 home runs. I don't know. Do we consider A Rod a pure third baseman? All right. We've got another debut level baseball here. Jerry's thinking Nolan Arenado would. All right. I'm an active player. Who am I? I'm an active player. A shortstop. My career stats through the 12th of May, 278 average, 90 home runs, 337 runs batted in. I'm an all-star, one-time all-star, a World Series champion, and an AL Rookie of the Year. And I'm from Puerto Rico. Who am I? And the Puerto Rico should give it away. It, it, <laughs> Drew Kerr got it. Correa, Stephen, Rushing, Thomas W., Richard Hunt. There you go. Carlos Correa. That's another one for Justin Marshall. There it is. Nice autograph. There's all your pertinent, pertinent stickers there. There you go. You can look that up, see exactly when he signed it and all that. All right. Chilo. He does have the odds with him. Let's put it that way. All right, and the third and final box. All right, and now the final round. The final round of Who Am I? Another debut level baseball. All right, I think his autograph is too easy to spot too. Yeah, might be a little too easy. Who am I? I am an active player. Up to early May, my career stats, 280, 151 home runs, 658 runs batted in. Made my major league debut in 2011. I play first base. I bat and I throw lefty. Played for uh, only two teams my entire career. An all-star, a World Series champion, a four-time gold glover, and a silver slugger award winner. My mom is Cuban. And came to the U.S. at the age of seven with her family to escape Fidel Castro's regime. I did not realize that. My dad is a retired firefighter. I won a World Series in 2015. Not Rizzo, not Goldschmidt, not Gordon. I play with the uh, Padres now. Gilo should be able to get it. That's another giveaway. Oh, he does get it. It is indeed Eric Hosmer. And 
49ers. Yeah, Jay. The Royals won in 2015. I get. Yeah, I didn't know he was Cuban too. His mom's Cuban. There you go. And Eric Hosmer goes to Brent Culper. There you go. Brent, who got randomized, Mr. Hosmer. All right. And there you go, ladies and gents. I don't think we have any more under wraps. Next level autograph baseball, but I'm sure we'll dig up some more. So keep an eye out on jazbeescasebreaks.com. We'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.